Marlon Pickett. Damo, what's your thoughts Look, on the Richmond situation and how they've handled it? As we know, Ed, uh, serious charges laid against him. I think Richmond's handled it perfectly. Brendan Perfect. Gale, yeah, we'll just take... This is obviously he appeared in court on Monday in WA over those serious uh, charges that are now against him that the club has decided to take him out of the competition for this week. Uh, they've got to buy the following week and then at this stage, publicly, they're on record saying he will return to the team for that next game. Brendan Gale uh, addressed this issue with, uh, as always, Brendan Gale diplomacy. Yeah, nothing's come easy to Marlon. He's had to deal with his challenges and we drafted Marlon eyes wide open, acknowledging, I guess, the incredible work he'd done to turn his life around. The great support, family support, South Fremantle, us, and, uh, and we'll continue to support him and that's what we do as a football club. Look, very smartly handled the way I read this. Mm. Uh, it, it's, it's brought them time to deal with it properly and, and in totality as best they can um, over time to take him out of the game this Saturday by the next week and then continue to train inside that time frame. And sort of decisions. protect him, yep. look after him. Whatever the situation, they're your people. You've got to look after them. We pick footballers from everywhere, every walk of life, every time. When they fall down a crack, the good thing about football always is the football reaches down and pulls them up. Uh, I think uh, Brennan Gale really showed why he's got to be the guy to be the football boss of the AFL. It's why I believe Andrew Dillon wants him to uh, yeah, yeah. be that man for him in, when he takes over officially And that was no in October. Act. That was from that the That was heart. just genuine. Can the AFL get CEO involved work. at all uh, and over, you know, over the top of Richmond? It, yeah, but Lordy, what happens? Nothing is ever done at club level, and Ed would know this better yeah. than I do, without the AFL's role in it. And, and Richmond may well have just said to the <laughs> AFL, this is what we're doing, and they would have said, yeah, no if, worries. If I was the AFL, I'd stay out of things for a while. Leave yeah. it to him. Right? He knows what he's doing. He's a lawyer. He understands football. He gets the whole situation. They understand Indigenous Australia very well down at Richmond. They've got smart people there. I don't think they need anyone coming over the top. And, and the courts of the land the dealing with will it. The courts will sort it out. Yeah. I'm, I'm for that yeah. now as a, as, a, as a way to have these issues play out rather than the AFL getting Can involved. I ask Jim a question? Though, what about select, selection integrity? So if you're a player at Richmond working your backside off and you're not getting picked. Because you said the other day you wouldn't want to play uh, with him. I, I, I see a lot of young guys at Richmond who, like Hugo Ralph Smith and Jack from Ross and these guys who are in and out of the team fighting and scratching and if Pickett's getting selected and I'm not um, and I'm, I'm working hard and he's not, well sometimes I think a coach has to look at that, what the players view are also on that player and as a teammate when picking a side. Yeah, well, look, you just have to trust the coaches. And if they think that he's the better player at the moment, well, then you just work harder. And like uh, Damo and Eddie said, you leave it up to Brendan Gale and the others to work out when he comes back into the fold. Fair enough. Easy way to get a game, though. Get a kick. Mm. And they'll stay in. Coaches like that, don't they? You show me possessions. <laughs> I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll shut up, said Ron Barassi.